Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. In this lecture, I am going to discuss decomposition. Okay, what is decomposition and what are the processes in it? Firstly, decomposition, it is very important process in nature because it helps in recycling of mineral and other organic matter. For example, that is carbon dioxide and water. Okay. So, what is happening over here? Dead organic matter, they are converted into inorganic and organic matter. In, uh, in inorganic matter, you can say uh, the minerals and in organic, there is carbon dioxide. Okay. And water is also released. So, the major portion where this decomposition is happening, it is on the top of soil. Whenever some animal dies, what happens then? The carbon dioxide, it gets released into atmosphere and in a similar way, water is released and it adds up into the atmosphere. And what is happening to the nutrients? They are added back to the soil and this helps in the recycling of mineral what is the material for decomposition we have dead dead leaves bark flowers or dead animals okay it also includes fecal matter that constitutes detritus clear now what are the processes of decomposition there are three steps in it firstly it is the fragmentation secondly it is leaching and finally catabolism i will start with fragmentation of detritus small invertebrate animals which are known as detrivores okay for example earthworm why they are known as detrivores because they eat up detritus okay and they bring about it is fragmentation that means fragmentation means uh, dividing something into small small parts they eat up something like uh, they uh, feed on feces and they convert this into fragments you must have seen uh, some loosely soil in your fields and this is done by this is done by the earthworm because they convert the detritus into highly pulverized state pulverized means loosely bound state okay and this is possible because of the some enzymes which are present in their gut they convert these feces or this detritus into a highly pulverized state next is leaching in it, some substances which are water soluble, preferably, uh, for example, sugar and uh, some nutrients, they go down in the soil. Okay, and this process is known as leaching. Whenever there is rainfall, some of sugar or inorganic nutrients, they leach and they go inside the soil. Okay. And later on, they may add to some uh, water, the ground water. Clear? The third step is catabolism. Students, catabolism is the part of metabolism. Okay? Metabolism is made up of two processes. One is catabolism and anabolism. In catabolism, there is breakdown of bigger molecules into smaller molecules and reverse is happening in anabolism so i will discuss here only catabolism because in decomposition catabolism is a step it is carried out by saprotropic bacteria and fungi they constitute some enzymes okay and these enzymes they convert complex organic compound or macromolecules into simple compounds or inorganic substances are released in the process 
okay clear so what is happening over here some bacteria and fungi they feed on large or complex molecules and convert them into simple molecules hence saprophytic bacteria and fungi they are known as nature scavengers the rate of catabolic action of different complex substances is different okay the differential decomposition produces two substances okay one is humus and another is in organic nutrients clear what is happening in catabolism we are getting two things one is humus and another is the inorganic nutrients by two pro two processes one is humification and another is mineralization firstly humification humification is the process again it is of decomposition what is happening uh detritus it gets converted into humus and what is humus humus is a dark colored amorphous more or less decomposed organic matter which are rich in cellulose lignin tannin resins etc and it is highly resistant to microbial action got it students uh the names that i have mentioned for example cellulose lignin tannin resins these are the products of plants okay and it is present in humus and it is humus is darkly colored okay and one more thing it is resistant to microbial action it is slightly acidic in nature and it acts as a reservoir of nutrition uh, nutrients important thing that is decomposition of or you can say the humification it is a very slow process it takes many maybe years or months to convert uh, organic matter or detritus into humus the another process is mineralization it is a release of inorganic substances for example carbon dioxide water and minerals from organic matter or humus during the process of decomposition these are formed along with simple and organic substances when digestive enzymes are poured over the organic matter by saprotropic microbes so in simple way what is happening in mineralization the bacteria saprotropic bacteria they releases some enzymes digestive enzymes and what is happening the inorganic substances which are present in that or organisms are released and what inorganic substances are released they are minerals and also carbon dioxide and water there are some factors which actually impact decompositions for example chemical nature of detritus another is temperature moisture and finally aeration firstly i will say about what a, how does the chemical nature of detritus will impact decomposition for example in uh, in our raw material we have lignin chitin tannin and cellulose these are the resistant and i will say most hard material okay so the process of decomposition is very slow for these particular um, matter while for the nitrogenous compounds for example proteins and nucleic acid the decomposition is very fast next is temperature a suitable temperature is necessary for decomposition so 25 degree celsius is favorable for it and optimum moisture is also helpful for decomposition and for and aeration uh, it is required for decomposers and detritivores you must have felt that uh, whenever there is a uh, animal dead there is a bad smell so why there is bad smell this is due to the 
bacteria which saprophytic bacteria which feed on the animal dead animal and there is aeration with the aeration we feel bad smell thank you for listening to this lecture in case you have any doubt you can visit to my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com